عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome to the 9 p.m. live English edition. Here are the headlines. The Ministry of National Education, uh, the visit of Ministry of National Education and Labour to Hayabli Training Centre. For the international news, the European vaccination passport against COVID-19 is making its way. Hello, welcome to our newsroom for having the news in uh, details. The Ministry of National Education and Vocational Training, Mr. Mustafa Mohamed Mahmoud, went yesterday to the training center of Hayabli to learn in person about the smooth running of training courses for women and girls in the neighborhoods. He was accompanied by his colleague, uh, Usman uh, Ibrahim Roble. The two ministers were welcomed with fervor by traditional dances and songs. Afterwards, they spoke with all the people present at the center and were amazed by the quality production uh, made by the learners of the center. In his speech, the Ministry of Labor in charge of administrative reform, Mr. Usman Ibrahim Robles, stressed the importance of this event, which aims to train young people in the field of vocational training and job opportunities. On the other hand, the Ministry of National Education and Vocational Training, Mr. Mustafa Mohamed Mahmoud, confirmed that his department will provide a room equipped with tools for professionals and will uh, distribute more efficient sewing machines in this field. Now, the Esplanade of the People's Palace continued to welcome people yesterday on the second day of, a, of the exhibition and the International Forum of School Publishing. Officials and visitors were able to discover the produ production pardon, of Crippen. The exhibition of test books and education materials were animated by specialists of Crippen from the all publishing chain. They, get, then, uh, they gave explanation in the book chain and the process of elaboration of the production from the conception to the manufacturing and finally distribution in schools throughout the country. This was an opportunity for this expert to stress the importance of making full use of all these tools for the production of books. The Fair and the International Forum of, on School Publishing were an opportunity to develop production in all its diversity and originality, such as a paper a textbook publishing, a digital textbook publishing, uh, inclusive uh, education, language development, etc. Also, the support of training, initial and continuing education for a better optimization for, of these investments in the education process, implementing are of, of paramount uh, importance. The Ministry of Labor at the International Forum and Exhibition of School Books spoke of an opportunity to develop production of all kinds, publishing a paper and digital textbook, comprehensive education in books, language development, distance education, such as e-learning. Now the State Secretary for Youth in Sport, Mr. Hassan Mohamed Kamil, proceeded on Wednesday to the ceremony of laying stone of a mini center of community development in Alayli Dada, a locality located in the region of Obok. This ceremony allowed the State Secretary to distribute schools, kits, sport equipment, balls and blankets for the inhabitants who face a record uh, cold. Accompanied by a strong delegation headed by the Prefect of the region, Mr. Abdul Malik Mohamed Bonaita, the State Secretary for Youth and Sport received a warm welcome from the population of this locality. The uh, State Secretary spoke with the local notables, women and youth. It was a question of sharing the daily life of these populations in order to inquire about their living conditions and to collect their grievances. Now, in a speech addressed to him, the State Secretary for Youth and Sport expressed his thanks and gratitude for the warm welcome he and his delegation received. The State Secretary took this transmit uh, to uh, the complaint of, of the people to meet the authorities concerned to provide for their needs and alleviate their suffering as soon as possible. 
well less than a month and a half before the presidential election of April 9th, 2021, the prefecture of Obok region is at work. No sooner have the electoral, uh, electoral maps arrived than the uh, prefect and his administrative staff have proceeded to sign them. And then these cards were classified by polling stations and subprefectures. By this act, the prefect of Obok region aims to make the voter cards available in the 35 polling stations distributed throughout the district of the Obok region within a specified time frame. As such, the prefect of Obok region is calling on his fellow citizens to come and collect their voter cards in order to fulfill their civic rights. A ceremony of reception of more than 150 trucks by the Ethiopian transit company MTS took place yesterday at the DMP port. The ceremony was a great event for the MTS company and gathered on the spot the president of the port and free zones authorities, Mr. Abakar Omar Hadi, the general manager of the Ethiopian transit company MTS, Mr. Roba Megersa, the director of the MTS branch, Juburi Taya Chala, the director of DMP, as well as high officials of the Ethiopian transit company uh, MTS. These brand new trucks received by the MTS company will practice on perfectly restored roads. This acquisition of large trucks on the other, other uh, semi-trailers will make the transport of goods uh, between the two neighboring countries more fluid. Apart from the railroad, the road is the vital link for the trade and transport of uh, goods from Djibouti to Ethiopia. Bought these heavy load trucks as part of our plan to procure 1,500 similar kind of trucks like these ones. These trucks are very special. They are four axle and 50 tons or 500 quintal load capacity. They are assembled in China, built and assembled in China, but their engines are man engine of Europe standard with a capacity of 480 which perfectly makes them fit for Ethiopian highlands. They will increase our fleet capacity uh, to by 60 percent. We already have 215 uh, 65 uh, heavy load trucks and added to uh, these new ones our capacity will grow to 415 trucks and next year we'll be procuring additionally uh, 300 uh, heavy duty trucks. In a speech delivered on this occasion, the chairman of the port and free zones authorities, Mr. Abakar Omar Hadi, expressed his satisfaction with the receipt of this truck by the Ethiopian company to transport goods between the two countries. Let's listen to him. I was saying that uh, the road and rail are not in competition because we cannot take the rail every corner of a country, especially a country big like Ethiopia. So there is what we call in economy the last mile. So you need the, the trucks. And also, the high value cargo will go by trucks. It's like the first class and business class in the airline. So uh, they cannot wait one consignee or importer or exporter to wait his cargo to be attached to 55 wagons to move. He will load on these trucks and move. That's my message. Another news now, the Directorate of Priority Health Programs through the PLS in collaboration with the Ministry of Social Affairs and in solidarity with the support of UNAIDS and WFP organized at the People's Palace on February 24th, 25th, 2021 uh, awareness workshop for doctors and psychosocial support workers on the existence of the social care package offered by the Ministry of Social Affairs through the social Counters. The workshop was launched jointly by the uh, director of the uh, DPSP, Mrs. Monera Ali, the UN AIDS representative, uh, Mr. Farhad Hassan, and the WFP program official. During this workshop, there was a fruitful exchange on the activities offered by the WFP and the Ministry of Social Affairs and Solidarity, and the recommended circuit from the uh, for the orientation 
of vulnerable people from health structure to the social control uh, set up by the uh, mass. Satisfactory nutrition with a healthy and balanced diet is crucial for the health and survival of all individuals regardless of disease status. Finally, these two days consisted, consisted in sustentizing and informing doctors and uh, Psychosocial, psychosocial support workers pardon, about the existence of this program of social production of the MS so that vulnerable patients can register at the social countries and benefit from the care package. Moving now into international news, uh, every day hundreds of thousands of Europeans are vaccinated. These figures are the hope of a return to normally on the old continent. The European Union is now working on the introduction of a vaccination passport to facilitate the resumption of free movement of citizens. However, the President of the European Commission underlines the extent of the road still to be travelled. We need at least three months to develop an, an interoperable uh, system of, at the European level. There is a lot of work to be done for the Commission at the European level, and there is a lot of work to be done technically for the member states at the national level, says Ursula von der Leyen. The certificates should include information such as vaccination negative PCR test or the presence of antibodies. Uh, for the experts, it's a fairly simple device. There is already a vaccination certificate and these certificates are already used when you travel to certain countries where there is yellow fever, for example. So you may have to adapt a little bit in the case of COVID-19, explains Burgle Institute Director Guntram Wolf. Gathered in summit by video conference, the European leaders also want to increase the production capacities in order to obtain a constant supply. This is it for this edition of 9pm. Thank you for watching us and have a wonderful evening.